I have. And I am very hesitant to ever recommend a tool, but DX is one of the tools that I actually break my own rule for. Um, cause I, so I'm a coach and part of my credibility is my neutrality. Um, I don't get, I kind of take the, um, if you're into food, you might know J. Kenji Lopez Alt. He's a kind of famous celebrity chef, but sometimes you'll see restaurants on his Instagram page or like he's you know, saying, oh, I really like this cheese from like this cheese maker. But he's always so clear that he never takes free stuff. He will always pay for it. And he, you cannot buy his opinion for anything. Um, so that's very much the attitude that I have because that is my credibility um, as a as a trusted third party to help, you know, to help you get better. But DX is something I do really believe. I mean, they don't they don't pay me to do this. They, they don't send me free cheese either or anything. Um, <laughs> I just was recently at Lead Dev London speaking about productivity and effectiveness. And I'll kind of summarize my main point, which is that up until now, we have been indoctrinated with the idea that automatic measurements from tools like GitHub and Jira, telemetry data, is magnitudes more valuable than subjective data that comes from self-reporting. And we've been living in this or world where we either look at automatic automatically generated data or automatically collected data, or we look at survey met survey metrics, um, but never together. And what DX does is actually help you understand that the self-reflective part of it is a lot more important than we think it is living in the or world that we live in now. Because the thing is that the automatic data, telemetry data from GitHub might take a poorly performing team and help them get better but it will never ever take a good team and make them great. There is just diminishing returns the higher performing that you are. 